Welcome back to Index Card of Day 2017 with me, Creative Katie. This is card 50, and I've entitled it Love. The prompt was Charm, like Charm Bracelet. Links to any specialized supplies will be in the description box below for your convenience. Hit the subscribe button and choose the option to get notified when I release a new video. So I am using this card, which was a failed attempt of the uh, sky or night one that I did. I had put gelatos under underneath and had covered it up with gesso and acrylic paint, and then it actually lifted. So I, you know, waste not, want not. So I just decided I'm going to collage right on top of that, and that will be good. So this is some vintage music paper and I'm definitely going in the into the area of kind of a vintage looking card when I saw the prompt for charm I instantly thought of this stamp that I had and that kind of framed my mind with it I wasn't to be completely honest I'm not really wasn't feeling the prompt Kind of forcing myself which is why I stuck to something tried and true with my burgundies and gold um, colors and you knew that I knew that that was going to work so in the end I'm quite happy with the card but so I'm using the dilutions paints in the pomegranate seed I absolutely adore this color it is incredible it's so rich and royal and vintage and it's just yum. So you can still see the music notes from the back and I'm grabbing a stencil and trying to lift some of the paint. I want to introduce some more pattern to the background and I also want to see more of those music notes in the background. Now the stencil that I have here, it, you can't really tell from there, but it has different things. So there's a very narrow line of this size heart. And so that's causing me some difficulties. So if you work fast, you can get through, um, you know, remove the paint. And that was in part because there was gel medium when I collaged on the music paper. So I'm just giving it a little bit of coat. So I'm pushing back those hearts just a smidge more, which is interesting. So we're getting some interesting color, different color values. And I'm getting up my gold. And I think this time I grabbed Martha Stewart's gold paint. And I'm just going to stencil in some of these hearts. Now initially I wanted to, I was going to just do the, the top and the bottom. And well, you'll see what happens. So there is the stamp that I have, and that was stamped on to deli paper. And I'm sorry, I do not know where, um, it was a friend of mine's stamp, and I don't know the name or any of that. So I just, it was something that I had in amongst my stash that I stamped when I was at her place. So then I decide I'm going to put some hearts here and there on, just to make this background a little bit more interesting. Now because I've collaged the music paper and I crumpled the music paper when I put it on, there is texture in there and that makes it hard to get a perfectly stenciled imprint. And I'm just putting a little gold around the edge.
at this point I'm looking now and I I really like the background I don't mind it but I was not thinking very positively about it I was just just telling myself just keep going just keep going so after I position this charm and it's kind of like a keychain with charms on it I'm just putting this down with gel medium and I think I altered it, I cut it a little apart a little bit just to make it fit my space that I wanted to put it in. That love was a stamp from another set of mine, again, that I had in the stash. When I stamp things, sometimes I stamp lots and they just go into a folder. Which, you know, when I'm doing the iCADs, my whole purpose was I'm going to go through these folders. I'm going to pull out stuff that already is there and I'm going to utilize it. And to that end, I think I've been very successful. I'm also I'm also very pleased with the variety of techniques and um, materials that I've used as I've created the index cards. So I'm getting out more gold paint, and I am going to paint on top of the um, entire stamped image. I want that contrast, the gold and burgundy are so very royal and vintage feel, and that's what I want to bring out. But in doing that, I am losing some of the detail of the stamp. So I know that I'm going to have to use my liner pen and put that back at some point. If I, I think I'm going to add another layer, but dry it in between, and then it works much better. Either I just turned on the light, or I came back after working on it. So you can really see that shine there. It's picking up, and then the hearts of the background just a little bit less, which is good, because I want the background to be in the background. So here is where I get out the liner pen and I am just basically adding lines and adding the details to this. Now this would have been a whole lot easier if I had another image of this, but I didn't. So I'm having to either go from memory or just kind of feel my way. Make sure that your paint is very dry before you use your micron pens or you will end up destroying them. I have to admit that I am looking forward to the end of the index card a day series. It has, I will finish all 61. We have another 11 to go. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back to full size pages and getting back to my mixed media technique tag videos. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to create the, the art every day. 
and then you have the additional um, time in making the video and getting editing the video and uploading and, and doing all that but I would just like to thank everybody that has joined me along with this journey and all the comments that I've gotten it they, they really do mean the world to me At this point, I think I did, several days goes by before you see me again after I put this on. I think um, there were several days, which is good because I, at this point I really I wasn't loving it. I mean, it was okay, but I wasn't loving it. So, and today when I got to it, I grabbed a, I recently purchased from Michaels a woodless charcoal pencil. And it comes in three different um, textures, soft, medium, and hard. And I'm just using that to shadow around this. And that's really added to, adding to the vintage feel. And I really love this. I kind of, several times this product was in my cart and it got returned. And I'm, I'm really liking it. I do take the time to say, oh, is this what does it reactivate? Does it activate with water? And it does a little bit. So I'm sure you will see me using this tool in future videos. So that's kind of made it kind of stand out from the background a little bit. So liking it a little bit more. Then I'm getting out my Sakura Jelly Roll pen. And I'm just outlining the letters. As I've said numerous times before, you know, it is really all about the finishing details, the little things that you add at the end. So I've gone over the entire word love. And now I'm just putting dots around it to frame it. I'm just adding some embellishments on this to make it a little bit fancier. And I really think that really set that off. Let me decide I'm going to put some my usual dash dot dot dots all the way around the outside edge just to finish it off. Now that the jelly roll, the gold, is dry, I'm getting a, my micron pen. I think I switch up. But before I do that, I'm just going around with my woodless charcoal around the outside edge, just adding a little bit of dark interest. I really like that effect, so it'll be something I do more of. I'm going with my micron and of course you know nine times out of ten the micron pens you know I can't get them to write smoothly uh, you know and I'm, I think I'm cursed when it comes to them I end up switching to a different brand and then I find success at being able to do it But that gold, once I covered it with gold, it absolutely needed to be outlined with black to make it stand out. And we're done. There's lots of interest in the background. You can still see the music paper through it. There's the gold. Um, you can see the different tones in the burgundy paint. All in all, you know, I I like a lot of the techniques that I've used here. I think we can use those in other projects. And, I, you know, I'm quite happy with this project 
when it's all said and done. Thanks for joining me.